Hey everyone, it's Willie with Willie's Life. <clears throat> I just wanted to talk to you guys about something I usually don't talk about, which is um, um, God and praying and um, adoption. Um, so uh, I'll just start in the beginning. You know, um, my wife and I have been married uh, 26 years now um, but we had been trying to have kids um, for 24 years and uh, we uh, we tried infer infertility uh, treatments and stuff like that and um, we uh, <clears throat> nothing worked out um, we uh, <clears throat> my wife, uh, it really affected her the most, you know, because uh, they have to take hormones and stuff like that. And it, it's really hard on the body and, and it, it does uh, a serious number on emotions, you know, uh, of women more, more so um, uh, not only hormonally, but like uh, actually, uh, you know, messes with them, you know, mentally and, um, so, um, she was, uh, you know, got into a pretty bad depression and she wasn't doing very good. And, uh, um, her brother passed away right after this within a year. Um, so it was another, uh, about of, um, depression you know obviously and and so she couldn't have kids and then um and then her brother passing away and uh you know depressed the hell out of me too because i was good friends with him and uh we ended up uh um like i said we exhausted um the infertility thing nothing happened um and uh, we weren't doing good. You know, my wife was not doing good at all. And um, I started praying um, for my wife more than anything. You know, just uh, I just asked God if uh, I was like, can you please let my wife and, and me have a little girl? Because I felt like my wife needed a little girl more than a little boy because we have tons of boys in our family. And she kind of needed, well, she does need that, you know, that, that connection with, uh, you know, the girl, you know, like daughter, mother thing, you know, and, uh, so, uh, we kept praying for this little girl and, uh, you know, I told my wife about it. I'm like, Hey, uh, you know, I've been praying for a little girl and I, um, I started having these dreams, you know, of a little redheaded girl, a little orange haired girl. And, um, uh, um, I used to see her all the time and, uh, you know, a little cutie and, and I, and I would dream about her and told my wife about it and she kind of got upset, you know, and she's like, I, I can't have kids, you know, we can't have kids. And I, and I said, I know, but I, I keep dreaming about it and I just wanted to tell you, I think we're going to have kids, you know, and. She wasn't happy that I was telling her about this because she kind of felt like, you know, she didn't, she wasn't going to get the chance. And, uh, so her, her brother's, uh, fiance, um, my wife and her became good friends and, uh, they had met after her brother passed away and, um, I can't remember how many months into it, um, she had asked if we would adopt um, Lacey's brothers and her kid, you know, the fiance's kid. And, you know, we just, you know, we were like, yeah, absolutely, you know, we were excited, you know. And so we got to adopt her, we brought her home, we had her f since day one. And, uh, 
it's it's an incredible incredible experience you know to have a little girl she's almost two now um she's just an amazing um loving wonderful little girl and super smart like i'm, I'm just blown away that you know babies and kids are as smart as they are and, and how amazing they are it's just it's um um i've i've been in tears multiple times just because i'm amazed at this uh answered prayer that uh, from god you know and the thing is is that she um before my daughter was born, I saw, um, it was right after, um, Lacey's, my wife's brother passed away. Um, I saw, I started seeing, I started seeing a bunch of ravens flying around at my work spot, you know, and, um, I drove my truck and uh, I was driving to the, to the, uh, the backside of this plant and uh this black and white raven flew by a couple times by me and i'm like oh wow yeah it's a raven you know so i i stopped and took pictures of it and and got some video footage of it and anyway we ended up uh i ended up thinking that was amazing you know i was like wow you know the, i wonder why this raven is keeps flying in front of me you know didn't think much of it after a while but Anyway, I started seeing these numbers and, I, and I'm praying this whole time, you know, a couple times a day, three, four times a day, um, every day. I never missed, I never missed a day. And I just kept asking God for a little girl, um, because I wanted me and my wife to have a little girl. Um, I was mainly praying for my wife because I felt like my wife needed a baby more than, than anything, you know? And so I just, uh, all the time I just kept praying and I started seeing these numbers um, twice a day you know on the microwave or, or in my car or wherever I'd see these numbers on the clocks you know and it was I've seen them twice a day every day for like a year and I wrote the numbers down in a notebook <clears throat> because I was so um, I was like man there's something with these numbers there's something you know some God's trying to tell me about these numbers well when Raven was born which is um, we uh, come to find out Lacey's brother and her his fiance wanted to before he passed away he wanted to they wanted to call their little girl Raven so here she is and she was born with orange hair and uh, looked just like I dreamed and she I mean, now as a two-year-old, you know, because I dreamed of her as a toddler. Um, that same beautiful smile. She just runs up. And she's excited, you know, to see me. I, and I dreamed that, you know, and she was born. Numbers that I saw all the time. Um, and they were in my notebook. And that is not a coincidence that their name was already preset for a raven and she flew the the bird flew in front of me a bunch of times you know kind of like it was trying to stop my truck and then it flew down and then because I, I was doing a loop and i had to loop around and i got i stopped and took pictures and video of it that's no none of this is like um i mean it's all symbolism you know some it's some kind of symbolism and i think you know it's something i think it's uh God was talking to us, you know, like, you know, I mean, cause there's three sets of numbers and they all relating to her. And I dreamed of her having orange hair. Her name was already preset to be Raven. Um, it's, it's crazy. And, um, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to say that people that, um, go through, um, people that, that let others adopt their kids are, you are incredible and you, the love that you're giving, I mean, that is the, the most powerful, amazing love that you've ever, that you, you have done for somebody is to give your child to someone else so they can raise your child as their child. That's not by any means 
something easy. That is like beyond difficult. I mean, that is the di most difficult difficult so that I think that there is, is, is that. And I, for the people that are adopted that get upset that they didn't know and stuff like that, you got to understand that your parents, you know, either they passed away or they, you know, they couldn't raise you because they couldn't give you the kind of life that they wanted you to have. And they didn't want you to be miserable. And these people that let that gave you up for adoption, it's because of love, because they wanted more for you. And don't ever feel empty or um, sad. You know, the what everything around you was based on you having a better life and and it was all about love it wasn't anything else and you got to understand that and you gotta and, and I, I just wanted to say to my daughter you know um, that we we wanted you we prayed for you and we needed you and we're so glad that you're here i uh i never knew i wanted a, a kid a daughter so bad in my life i never did when i first saw you <clears throat> i came into the room and i was downstairs and had to come up or i came up you know and i i missed um you being born and uh by like one minute or two minutes or something like that. I was down a couple floors down <clears throat> in the parking lot and I came up and um, there was like 12 nurses or something like that. It was, the room was full of nurses. It was crazy. And I heard my wife crying and I got scared. I thought something horrible happened. You know, I thought maybe either that my daughter had passed away or that, that and or the bio mom passed and during surgery and it scared me and then i looked and my wife was holding my daughter you honey and she was so happy and so emotional and she was holding you and i dropped everything without thinking you know like i just dropped on the floor <laughs> and i went and sat next to you and um my wife and mama and I, you know, I, I rubbed your, your leg and stuff really softly and, and, uh, you know, mama was crying and then, um, it was amazing, you know, and then I got to hold you. I can't remember how long it took me to, let Lacey let me hold you but um, um, I got to hold you and uh, it was uh, super incredible I asked the nurses if they could teach me how to do diapers because I uh, I was a <clears throat> 45 year old man that didn't ever change a diaper in his life and didn't know how to do didn't know how to feed you didn't know how to burp you didn't know how to do anything and they showed me at the hospital they showed me how to wash your hair and uh, when they laid your head in the sink, kind of held it and washed your hair, um, you just kind of melted in their hands. And I was like, oh, okay. So I finally <laughs> realized what the connection is with uh, hair salons and girls, you know. <laughs> so uh, it was, uh, it was uh, an amazing thing. But um, every day with you has been awesome. I... Uh, I'm super happy and I'm right now I'm away from you um, going down a different career path of course you know I'm gone from you for a week at a time and it sucks you know but it's a short lived uh, uh, amount of time and then I'll be home and you know it's not forever it's just a couple of months and then I'll be home I've uh 
I peek in on you all the time and, and check on you and make sure you guys are okay. And, and, uh, I've never, never been this happy in my life. Um, as being able to have my family around, you know, um, and ha being able to play with, play with you and draw and, you know, do everything that we do together. You know, we're, we, you color for me and draw, you, you do tattoos on me <laughs> and you, uh, you talk to me, we, we read books together and that is my highlight of my life. My day is to be able to read to you and, uh, I have all these things that I want to do. Um, you know, it, it's a, it's inspired me to be a better person. Everything just have you in my life. It's, uh, you know, I've got a different focus, you know, um, and, and I'm planning on doing all this stuff and we'll, we're going to have, we've, uh, my, you know, mom and, and, and me are, are focused on doing something incredible for you and, um, letting you, uh, grow up, uh, having a lot of fun and, and doing things that we always wanted to do. Um, and we're hoping that, that you love those things too. Um, we, uh, just, uh, want you to know how much I love you and um, just uh, just always know that all right just want to say something back to the people uh, out there listening um, be the light in the darkness you know be people's light in their darkness there's a lot of people out there that, that, that need that. All right. Love y'all.